guys, hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be doing this look which is based on a Blake Lively look that I saw. This look would be great for weddings because it's kind of like pretty glamorous but then not too heavy on the eyes. So I think it would be perfect for weddings this year so if you like it keep watching and I'll speak to you guys soon. So first of all I'm picking up my That Girl Primer from Benefit. Then rub that in. Now I'm going to use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the shade 6.5 and my new Zoeva brush, um, 102 Silk Finish, the rose gold one. <laughs> got a bit excited when I got these. I'm just going to buff that into my skin. My belly keeps rumbling. <laughs> my stomach always seems to rumble when I start filming. Now I'm going to grab my NARS Creamy Concealer and cover up any blemishes that I have. So I've got a few little pesky spots at the moment. Not many, but actually some of them seem to be going. Yay. And I'm also going to run that under my eyes. Just awful dark circles. Then, because it's not really that light, it looks a bit light in there, but it's not as light as I don't think it's as light as my dark eye eraser, so I'm just going to put a little bit of that on top, so it's more of a highlight. And then I'm also going to run that down the bridge of my nose, and a bit of my forehead, cubist bow and chin. Then I'm going to use that same brush I used for my foundation and buff it in. I just got myself a ring light and really hard for once in my life. <laughs> like, oh, Once that's buffed in, then grab the palette that you like. I'm going to use NARS Beach and pop that all over my face, but then on my under eyes, I'm going to use a MAC Prep and Prime transparent powder. It's like a transparent translucent powder. And to put my powder on my face I'm using a Sigma Large Powder F20 brush and then just push that into the skin like push it in, push it in. So to put that transparent loose powder on I'm using a, a Real Techniques buffing, is it, what is it? A Real Techniques setting brush and just again press it into the skin. Now I'm grabbing this NARS Eater or Ita brush and then I'm going to use NARS Laguna bronzer and slightly contour. brush and I'm going to run it down the sides of my nose just to contour the nose slightly and then a little just go around the tip of the nose. Now I'm going to grab a big bronzer brush and I'm just going to do the top part of my forehead and the sides of my temples because I can't work with that eater eater brush very well with that. It takes too long so I'm just going to use this big bobby brown bronzing brush get around the forehead, the perimeter just of my face basically. So all around the edge here, the top there, side here, and then on my jawline. Put down my neck. Now I'm using a Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 brush and the Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold highlighter, this gorgeous golden highlighter, and put that on my the tops of my cheekbones. 
because it looks like Blake has like a golden highlight so I want to mimic that and then I just go around the edge of the eyebrow like a little C shape so just there just down there and I'm going to pop a bit down the bridge of my nose because Blake's definitely got some on the bridge of her nose just where you put the highlight the cubes bow make the lips look fuller a bit on the chin and then a bit on that highlighted area on the forehead. Now it looks like she's wearing a peachy kind of blush so I'm going to go with Pratt Boy from The Balm which looks like this and it looks like she's got it sweeping up the cheekbone so I'm going to pop it the same as her and I'm going to use this MAC angled blush brush and then I'm just going to pop it there on my cheek and blend that up. I'd build this up if I were you, I wouldn't put the majority of the blush on straight away. And for brows, I'm going to be using the HD Iron Brow Palette in 002 Foxy. And I use the same technique as what I use to do my eyebrows normally, so you can check that out in my other video. Because I'm going to skip my brows, but I'm just showing the products I'm using. And I'm going to use the two matte brown shades, followed by the wax to set them in place. Blake and I have very different eyebrows, hers are quite light, um, which mine are naturally, and mine are a bit more HD. So I'm going to keep mine how they normally are because that's what I would go for. And this is just an inspired look, so I mean you'll do your eyebrows however you like. Okay, so for the eyes I'm using the Resort Palette from Sigma, which looks like this. But if you haven't got this, because I'm not sure if it's still available, then the colours I use are the orangey shade, like a peachy shade, and the brown, which is papaya and topaz. And therefore, you could use the shade that you use for your blush because um, it's quite similar. So you could use the Frat Boy blush in the crease. So first of all, I'm going to be using that Charlotte Tilbury highlight again because it's quite yellowy. And I'm going to pop that on my brow bone. Then I'm getting a Sigma Tapered E35 brush and I'm just going to get the shade Papaya which is the orangey colour and then tap it off and then run it through my crease. Starting at the edge first so then if there's a bit of too much product on that then the outer corner will get it more because you want the outer corner to be darker anyway. And just build that up. And go a bit further up than the crease, don't just like um, specifically position it in the crease. Because this is quite a big blending brush, you can blend it upwards towards that highlight shade. So it's kind of a transitional colour into the highlight, but then also bold enough to be in the crease. Then what I'm going to do is put a little bit of the papaya on the brush again, but then also the topaz. So there's a bit of a warm brownie shade in there. And starting at the edge of the eye, just pop a bit on the outer corner, gently, like softly, not any harsh lines or anything. And then run it through the crease again. Blake Lively and I have got completely different eye shapes. She's very hooded and you can't really see the eyelid. So I've just assumed it looks like this. So for the base of the lid, you can either use that Charlotte Tilbury highlight again or grab the shade Luna out of the palette. Um, which I'm going to do and pop that onto the base of the lid and actually this would be probably a better highlight shade for the brow bone than the Charlotte Tilbury one because it is a little bit more yellowy and it does look like her um, highlight is very yellow I'm then going to grab that um, blending brush again and then because I've taken a bit of that outer corner colour off, I'm going to mix those two shades, topaz and papaya, back together again and just pop it on the outer corner again. Now before liquid eyeliner, I'm just going to put some white eye pencil on and this is one from MAC and it's called Fascinating. And I'm going to pop it on the inner corner like I have done here. And then I also run that in my waterline. And 
couple more things before the liquid eyeliner. I was a bit ahead of myself. I'm going to grab a pencil brush and I'm going to rub from the shades Topaz and Papaya again to my lower lash line. Blending it with the shade here, the outer corner. Finally, liquid eyeliner. I would really suggest a gel liner or a um, pencil black eyeliner just for a softer look. But like I said, I like that with liquid. Basically, on Blake, I can only see the wing. So what I'm going to do is only go up to just before the inner corner. Now I'm going to use Ico London Mascara. This is the I do lengthening and strengthening mascara. Lengthen and strengthen, it says, but yeah. And I'm going to put that on the bottom top and bottom lashes. I'm just going to run those two shades, brown and the orangey shade, to my lower lash line again. And if I were you, because this will be a special occasion, I've put false eyelashes on, but because I can't do them myself, as you know, my hands are like this because I'm paralysed, then it's hard for me to put false eyelashes on. But if I had someone to put them on for me now, I would if I was going for a special occasion. So I definitely recommend putting false eyelashes on with this look to give it a more of a glamorous va va boom. So for lipstick, I'm going to be using Impassioned from MAC. So that is the final look guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and hopefully you, and hopefully you think it looks it's kind of similar to Blake Lively's makeup. Obviously I'm not as beautiful as she is but I have to work what we've got don't we? Um, so yeah, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and leave me some comments below. Speak to you soon!